All right, this will be a multi-axis turning. I've never done one like this before, but a few months ago, on a regular doctor visit that I had, uh, my doctor's a wood turner and he showed me a picture of something he made. And I'm only going off of what that picture is. I don't know how he did it, but I'm gonna do it how I think I know how to do it, at least for me, I think it'll work. That's a burl from a piece of black locust. This is walnut. Normally, you'd use a scrap of wood here just to balance it out. But by doing this, at least at the beginning, I'm going to get two pieces at the same time. Once I start turning the other direction, then I, I can't do that anymore. But okay, let's get started. really balance nicely. So we're at about 700. Just go over the whole thing with the two inch. We'll uh, send this up to 400 and we'll get it flipped around. All right, it's flipped over. I had screws in there. I shimmed it up to get it nice and level. Pull it against here. I have the screws in it. I already have a built in template. What was left here in that spacer. All I have to do is turn to these lines. I'll be able to line the grooves up. It should be symmetrical to the other side. little grooves here so I know where they're at. Okay, I've got a nice match here. The only thing left to do is put my uh, grooves in here with my point tool. And I have a witness of where that's at, so that should be pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and sand this up. You've seen some of that. And I'll get it off of here and show you the next operation as soon as I figure out how I'm going to do it. Okay, got the screws back down. Let's lift this off and see what we ended up with. It doesn't look like much right now. We got two more major steps to do. I think I know how I'm going to do it. I'll sit down with a cup of coffee and discuss that with my with myself. 
Okay. Should do it. All right. Now I have the other half of this mounted on the wooden face plate. Now, the next step is to put a radius here across that way. So it's it was mounted in there thusly. Now I mounted it this way, and I'm going to turn that curve down through here. You can see here that I pre-bandsawed the curve onto the walnut piece. And those other pieces are on there to help balance it while it spins, and hopefully to keep the walnut from chipping out. Okay, I think I know what I want this to look like, and now it's just a matter of making that happen. all through with these pieces they gave me some support and kept the edges pretty sharp I'm gonna dub them over anyways but uh, I think it helped a lot I've determined that I want to drill a one inch hole about two and a quarter deep because I will have a bottom to this this is going to be a little opening a small little bowl it's going to hang down below it I don't want to go any deeper than that because I'm not sure how much I'm going to have underneath here. So I've got it going about 250 RPMs with a one inch bit. We'll go ahead and drill that. Alright, go ahead and hollow this out. I think I'm going to use one of my little hollowing tools for it. Alright, we're all hollowed out. I need to sand it now. I'll do that sanding and we'll come back and we'll have it flipped over and work on finishing it. Okay, I'm ready to do the bottom of this one. This is the burled piece and I made a little cardboard template of what I hollowed out because I need to know where that's at down here. So I've placed that on here I trace some lines around and I think if I make that bottom shape like that we'll have a nice wall around it. You can see I'm almost up to this little feature that I put on here. I just want to get up there and kiss that edge. And it's really nice and equal on both sides. So I'm going to just baby this thing up there. And uh, we're about ready to finish the shape on here. Clean that up. And we did it, hopefully. Take a little bit more off of there. I turned a little disc to locate the piece on, and the two big blocks there are screwed to that wood face plate, and the thinner ones are acting like clamps holding it down into position. Let's do that. Okay, I finished uh, 
going over it with my negative rake scraper. And this feels really nice. I like the lines I have on here. These are real sharp. I'll be dubbing them. So I'm going to take this out now and I'll do some hand sanding because I just do not feel like even trying to sand that piece. But it's pretty smooth. I'll see it when it's time to get some finish on it. Alright, we're ready to put some sanding sealer on this one. It's all sanded up. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to brush some of it on and then wipe it off. It's really going to soak it in. This burl is actually kind of porous feeling. So, this will take a little while. I'm going to go ahead and get the finish on this one, get the sealer, and then I'll put shellac on it. I'll get all this done, and, and when I come back, they'll be finished. So I'm going to make a lid for the offset turning that I just did. That's a piece of ironwood. I tried a few gouges, but the ironwood is really hard and dulled them almost instantly. So I tried my round carbide cutter that has a negative rake profile, and it did a really good job on it. And cut nice, didn't chip it out, very smooth. But I went ahead and used a little negative rake scraper that I ground to get into tight areas just to smooth it up and it left it almost to the point where I didn't need to sand it but I did sand it all right I sanded it up to 500 grit now I'm going to use some abrasive paste on it I'm going to do this in reverse. Right now I'm applying the friction polish. And as you can see, it really gets a nice finish on it. All right, I just have to part this off now. Okay, everything's done. After parting this lid off, I put it in a jam chuck and I just put a little shape on the bottom. Here's the finished one out of black locust burl. Very, very pretty piece of wood. That's what the shape looks like. Pretty similar on both of them. That's why I'm only going to do one video and combine the two because it would almost look like the same thing. This piece of black pearl has a few natural defects, but we like to call those beauty marks. And there it is with its little lid. I like it a lot. I finished both of them using sanding sealer and shellac and I just left a kind of a satin finish on it. Here's the one out of the walnut and I believe it's American walnut. It pretty much looks the same and of course you saw that this area here and across there was all done at the same time on both of them so these are exactly the same. So it measures seven and a half approximately across here, three and five eighths tall, and at the widest point across here is three and five eighths also. And both of them are pretty close to the same. This one's a little bigger diameter. And even though both of them started out to be looking just like this, and I decided to make a lid for 
the black locust one, I was encouraged to make a lid for this one. So that is the lid for this one, and that's got kind of a cute shape to it. It looks like some sort of a, should be on top of a building. This is a piece of ebony, and that's maple. So now, which one do I like best? Which one do you like best? I know which one I like the best. I love this one. And I really, really enjoy making things like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And a special thanks to all my subscribers. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel and you feel so inclined, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and until the next time, I'll see you later.